playoffs yeah. in the wild card, and he had a 147 to 105 record. That's in points, not games. And his 18 matches that we play over the year. So the format of today's match, I should go over with you. The bowlers will each bowl five strings, starting on lane 10 for five boxes, and then they'll switch over to lane nine. And there's a spare. Nice cover for the spare. So that gives him 37 and a ball. So they'll each pull five boxes on each lane. Starting on lane 10, Jeff's going first to use the lower seed of the two. And then he'll switch over to lane nine for the second half of each game. In the fill, eight in the fill. That gives him 45 after four with, what's his lead? He's got the two and the 10 with some wood between the two and 10. And just took out the wood. So unlike during the regular season where the bowlers bowl for two points per game and four points for total, today it's all about total score. Whoever has the most pins at the end of five games goes home with the trophy and the prize money. All right, so Jeff Little ends up with a 53 half in his first half. Now we get to see Mike Fabrizio Smith. Mike is, again, I said, from South Yarmouth. Came all the way up here from the Cape. I had to bowl there during the season. It was a long drive. We had to Yarmouth? Yeah. Oh. And I bowled Mike, and he beat me. And he was on the two pin, it appears to me. And he took out seven. He's left with a 138. How do you get this, Chris? Mike left, uh, Mike went to the, seems to have the opposite problem with Jeff. He went to the left of the head pin. He's got the one, the, the one, the three, the five, the eight, and the nine. Oh, he's got four up there. Okay, yes. I, I saw seven. Okay, a little bit of jitters. So he starts with a six box. Five. five. He had two. He had two doubles. Oh, okay. Two doubles. Five box. Box. Five boxes. A little hard to see from my vantage point. The bowler is actually right in front of me. So, so Fabrizio Smith has a 102 average, and his record for the year is 140 and 112. 140 in terms of points. Um, so he had a winning season, and he he beat uh, Dave Peterson in the South Conference Finals to make it to this round. Just off the head, just off the head pin takes everything but the head pin. Uh, so when we're on this side, I'm going to have you do the play-by-play -play because I can't really see you. Want, you want to swap? No, that's, that's good because you're running this too. All right. Come on, Mike. Here we go. So a nine, nine box for Mike Fabrizio Smith. All right. And Mike Fabrizio Smith up on lane 10. He's off the, off to the left, takes out the, the four, the seven, and the eight. So he's got a double row there to shoot at. It's makeable if you get it in the pocket. Right there. And the head pin takes everything but the five. Piece of wood rolling off the wall, taps the five, it won't go. That was a great effort. That's, that's uh, how you make that spare. It doesn't always work. Covers the five pin for a ten box. He is... At 24 after three, which puts him down three pins from Jeff, and now he's up against despair. <laughs> Off to the left takes every, takes out the seven pin. Just one on that one. Back to the right, he takes everything, leaves the one, the two, and then he so eight. He, in, he wanted to be probably a little more on the head pin on that one. He went, came in on the three. <laughs> takes out the two and the eight, leaves the head pin for a nine box. So that leaves Mike with 33 after four. He's down 12 pins so far in completed boxes. Just off the head pin. He has a two pin with that one. Has a working ball. He's got the the three, the six, and the nine, and the ten. He's got some wood in front of the three. 
Right on the target for a spare. All right, a spare for Mike Fabrizio Smith. Right when he wanted one in the fifth box, that gives him 43 plus a ball after five. Now we're going to switch lanes and go to Jeff Little on the other side. Have Danny Finn to do some high skiing here. Danny Finn's going to chase the ball. He's the commissioner. We'll be we'll be, be seeing Dan Finn at the end of the run, at the end of the game. <laughs> I see we have Dom Palladino, Chris uh, Benjamin Witts in Wisconsin is with us. Andrew Little, Paul Agnes Jeff Little up on lane nine. Sorry, Dan didn't mean to cross over you. He's on the six pin that time, just takes out three. He's got a double row left. Came in on the three pin. Took out everything but the one and the two. So he'll be open in box six. Nice cleanup for a 10 box. 63 after on, six. Jeff. And Benjamin Witts, uh, you're absolutely right. We, we put Danny to work on everything. Dan, Dan uh, runs his league. He uh, takes care of the balls and the loose pins. So uh, Jeff Little comes in on the three pin. He takes out four. He's got the one, two, four, five, eight, and nine. How do you like that? And he's on target, takes everything but the nine pin. Nice bid. He'll be open in box seven. Just a nine to shoot at, and he's got it. Ten box, that gives him 73 at seven. He's three pins over par. I can see the pins pretty well from on that side. I just can't see them on the pins. So. Well, that, we'll just keep swapping yeah. off then. That's fine. Perfect. All right, box eight. And he's on the head pin, and there's the first strike of the match. What a ball by and Jeff Little. The crowd goes wild. Uh, that was a hammer. No doubt about that one, Chris. Nope. Right in the pocket, and there was not much time. Hey, Dan Esdale. We'll see you later. Be on time. All right, coming in a box nine. Bill in a strike. First two balls are Phil for, for Jeff. All right, just taking a breather. Make sure he's ready for this, Phil. He's in the pocket again. Almost a double. Nine drop, just a five pin left. What we call the king pin in this game. All the soldiers went down. The king is standing. Spare on strike, 10 fill. 93. Do it again, do it again. After eight. It seems that Jeff is settling nicely after that first rough, uh, first half. Looks to me on the scoreboard, he's only left no pins on the deck at all. He's, he's cleared up everything. All tens are marks. So 103 plus a ball after nine. So his first ball in box 10 is a fill ball. Wow. Another strike. Wow. Actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Might get hit with a trademark infringement. <laughs> That's my friend Paul Grant's uh, trademark expression. Not paying you, Paul. All right, strike on spare, 113 after nine. He's at 123 plus a fill. Um, I'm, I'm good for drinks right now. I would love a water, please. All right, on the fill in a 10 box. And it looks like it's going to be... All right, come get it. First fill ball, drop seven. Second, he's on a spare on strike. And that is a 133 game, and that's how you start this match. Beautiful game. Nice game for Jeff Little. He's sure putting the pressure on Mike early. Mike can throw up the game, too. 
All right, Mike's on a fill, so he closed out the first half with a spare. If he's at 43 plus this ball. Just off the head. Drop six, so that gives him 49 for the first half. Four horsemen, or is also known as a Kamrowski special, just misses. Takes out two, so you'll be open in box six. Correct, Benjamin. I also have a patch from that other Yeki Sport 10 pin for a Dutch 200. Eight box that gives uh, Mike Frizio Smith 57 after six. Six down and completed boxes, but he's up against that tremendous finish by Jeff Little. So he needs to mark. Drops eight, leaves a one and a ten. He's got a powerful ball. Yes, he does. Definitely a working ball. He gets a good mix-up on the on the plate. Oh, he needs that mark. Well, the ball comes back. That's good. Takes out the head pin. He's got a ten pin with a plank in front of it. At least get a ten. And that's good. That's a ten box. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was definitely, I, I think that was definitely good. He hit the, he hit the, the Bowl was called. Before it went off. Yeah, before it went off. Bowler took a nine. Oh, he did. Okay, yep. the bowler called it no good. So a nine box for box seven, 66 after seven, down six. But he's up against a strike, spare, spare, strike, spare. So if you can get a spare here, and there's his spare. Just what he wanted to do. That's how he's got to answer those marks by little. 76 plus a ball. Which pulls him, if a strike, a strike will pull him just about even with. Oh, not what do you want to have happen. He's on the head pin and punches out a spread eagle for four in the fill, and that gives him 80. Down 13 in completed boxes, but he's up against a spare strike. All right, come on, clean it up. He picks up a couple. You can see he was trying to get some action off the wall there. All right, good nine, good nine. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He pushed the button. Nine box. What's that give him, Chris? He is at 82, no, 89. 89 after 9. All right. He's got a, roughly a 35 pin deficit right now. All right, he's off on the four pin. He's left with the two rows of four horsemen and three more. This is makeable. Sorry, that's a 45 pin deficit. <laughs> and he's going to be open in box 10, so he'll be under 100 for this first game. I can tell you when I bowled Fabrizio Smith during the season, it started out like that for us too. I had a pretty big game to start. And he had, I thought it was going to sail from there. No, <laughs> he came back. Oh yeah, he would. He will warm up. All right. So after game one, what's the total, Chris? One thirty-three for Jeff Little and eighty-nine or ninety-seven. Ninety-seven for Mike Fabrizio Smith. So that's the end of game one, and at the moment, Jeff Little has a 36-pin lead over um, Michael Fabrizio Smith. But there's a lot of bowling to go, four more games to go, and anything can happen. Both of these guys can throw big games, and uh, any one of us can throw a game that isn't so good. Jeff was way over his average. Jeff Little up on lane 10. Starts off with a bang. Takes everything but the 7. So he's got just a 7 pin to shoot at. No wood to play with. There's wood there. I don't know that that's going to help. What do you nope. think? Well, no, Wait a minute. Moving. Now you got a pin. Now you got a pin. Uh, piece of wood pinned against the 7. Might be a roadblock. Goes right at the 7. Takes it for a spare. Nice. Starts with a spare. around. 
around, is he? No. We've seen some great bowling this year in all the divisions. Division C was for bowlers with averages of about 100 or so, uh, plus or minus. Jeff is off the... And we've seen some pretty big matches this year. Great ball. Jeff hits the pocket, leaves the four, I'm sorry, the six and the nine. Feels it's going with three. Finish at 10 box, he's 23 after two. He's deadly accurate right at the moment. So Jeff has a high single of 183 in his career. Jeff, a little too full in the pocket, gets a good mix. He leaves the four and the seven. He's got wood in front of it. He's got one piece in front of it, one angled off to the side. That ought to go, I think. Once he stays on the right line. No. Oh! Ooh. He gets robbed. Seven pin stays. He covers a seven pin for a ten box. He is at 33 after three. He's taking every pin. So Jeff has a 183 high single, a high triple of 445, and a high five game of 627. He's put up some formidable scores. Yes, he has. Jeff, a little just off the head pin. Leaves the 1, 2, 7, 10 with no wood. He's going to have to split something over to take off the 10. Probably wants to get in between the 1 and the 2. Too full on the head pin, leaves the Christmas tree, the two, the seven, and the ten. All right. Usually best you hope for out of here is about a nine. And he's got a seven. Puts him at 40 after four. <laughs> well, he was a lot hotter on lane nine than he was on lane ten last time, that's for sure. Yes. Full on the three pin, he leaves the one, the two, the four, and the eight. Ooh, off to the right, misses everything wide. All right, so he'll be open in the fifth box. Cleans up for a 10, he's at 50 after five. So despite the lower score this time, he only left three pins. Yes. Not bad at all. No, not bad at all. So if you can't get a straight, get a spare. If you can't get a spare, get a 10. I was always told that you can't get a mark at a nine or a 10. That's a profound philosophy that I have. <laughs> Mike Fabrizio Smith up on lane 10, just off the head pin, leaves the four horsemen left plus a 10 pin. Rico Smith wants to capitalize on that 50 half and see if he can put up a big half now. Oh, right in the pocket, takes the one and the two, leaves the four, seven, and ten with no wood. I don't think he could have hit that much better. That's exactly what you wanted to do. Tries to sweep the four into the ten. No luck. He's up to the finish. Starts with an eight box. A little background on Mike Fabrizio Smith. Uh, this young man has bowled on and off for years, but this is his first serious competitive year. And uh, so he's put, put up some good numbers this year. Oh, in the pocket, light leaves the two and the five. No wood. Just two together to shoot at. On target for a spare, nice spare. That's what he wanted to do. So Mike's high single is a 142. His high triple is a 350. And his high five is 551. And like I said before, he carries a 102.4 average. Off the head pin. Oh, gets a nice break for a strike. Strike on spare. And that's a strike. Little, little unsure for a moment though, but it, it went back to our strike. Nothing wrong with that. They all look the same on the scoreboard. We got a pretty good crowd here, as I mentioned before. A lot of ACST bowlers are here to watch the, this and 
following this will be the B Division Championship and then the A Division Championship. So we have a lot of bowling. Please stay stay on here. The best of every of every division. All right, want, it's the first ball. What do you pick up on it? He left off. He picked the four and the seven up. So he's got another ball to fill on the strike. There you go. On target. Leaves the three, the five, and the six. He's got a seven fill, which puts him at 45 after three. So he's got a lead in this game. Two chops the five off of the two and the six. Puts him at 53 after four. So, so he's picked up 13 pins from his loss in the first string. So far in completed boxes is 53 to 40. And he's up against the 10 box. Good apple. On, on the head, on the lip, in the pocket, leaves, takes everything but the four pin. Got no wood. Well, no wood that could help him. So in the third box, he misses a head pin, gets a strike. This time he hits it perfect. Finishes up with a spare. He'll be sitting down 63 in a ball. So Fabrizio Smith has picked up some pins. He's a 63 plus a fill after five in game two. And now we get to see Jeff Little again on lane nine. He's at 50 after five. So he's looking to preserve his lead and maybe grow it. Let's see what he can do here. He's been spectacular so far. Spare time here in Whitensville is quite an establishment. All right. First ball, he's on the six. Takes out a little more than I thought he was going to. He gets five. A little and backdoor action to take out the back row. He's got a cluster there, but it can go. If you hit it there, you know, a little full on the head pack. All right, so he'll be open at box six. Oh, what a shot! Nice shot! Jeff Little picks up the three, four, five. Tell their bowlers on when they're starting to make hits like that. Yes. I, I find when I'm having a good day, all the bowling seems easy. All right, in the left hand pocket, he's left with a check mark right, which is a 4, 5, 6, 10. Piece of wood behind the 5. I don't know that it's going to help. Oh, nice shot by Jeff Little. In the seven. Bear to seven, 70 plus a ball after seven buses. All right, he's, he's, he's on fire here. Let's see what his fill is. First ball's a fill, and he coming into the eighth box. He's only left three pins standing so far. On the three pin, he's left with a Kaliri left, so five in the fill. That gives him 75, is it? Yes, he's 75 through boxes scored. All right, he's off on the two pin that time, so he leaves the one and the nine pin with some wood behind behind the head pin. Might take it. No doubt about that one. Puts him at 85 after eight. It's a head pin, so three plus one. Maybe my friend Mark, Mike Nardone can think of a name for that one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Takes right. out the left side, leaves a six. Six pin only. And uh, threw that one away, so nine bucks. 94 at nine. So he slowed down a little from his 133 in the first game. Hi, Kyle Pick. Uh, to answer your question, the answer is yes, we are. So I will be hoarse by the end of the third game, the third round. Grandma's teeth. Thank you. That's a good call. So Kyle Pick says that the three and a one is called Grandma's Teeth. And back to the live action in the 10th box, Jeff was off the head pin. He left the one, eight, nine. 
And he picks it up for a spare. Ah, way to play it! Way to play it! Puts him at 104 plus a ball. So I was watching earlier Paul Grant uh, covering the candle pins for cancer, and one of the bowlers had that same lead. And Mike Warren was with him, and they said, you know, that looks like an easy shot, but it's very difficult. And the bowler came and picked it up. Just saw it again. Yes, we did. And if you leave it off a pull, uh, take it off a full rack, they call it the bow for punch now. All right, and he puts seven in the fill, and that gives Jeff Little 111. And he's got to buy the beer now. That's the fish, and if you get a 111 in league night, you got to buy your team the beer. Yes. That's right, Benjamin, 15 strings of championship bowling. All right. Now Mike Fabrizio Smith comes up on lane nine to finish out his game. He is at 63 plus this ball. And this ball is seven. That gives him a 70 half. Not bad at all. He's got the one, three, and seven with some wood against the one and three. He could sweep the wood over and take all three pins. Red line right there. That's right. Nice shot by Mike Fabrizio Smith. Mark in the six, 80 plus a ball. 20 pins plus this ball is his lead in this game. It's going to get close, I think. Oh! oh. Strike on Reason spare. Smith puts a strike on spare, and that gives him 90 after six boxes and 100 plus this ball, two balls. So if you thought the first game was decisive, not at all. He's just waiting for the reset. Takes a little bit for the pins to fill the tube. So we'll talk about this house a little bit. Uh, have you bowled here before? I have not bowled here before. Okay, I bowled here earlier this season. Uh, the Mark Moon and his wife have made us into quite a place. They've got 12 lanes of bowling. All right, first ball in a fill is six seven. All right, not going to run the rack. Uh, run this side. They have 12 lanes of bowling. They've got a game room. They have, they have uh, food and drinks here. They have live music some days. Very, very well kept. The lanes are nice and fresh. He's going for the second fill ball. Misses to the right. Seven in the fill. One oh seven after seven. And Fabrizio Smith looked down at his hand like the ball slipped off his hand. That's a nine. Puts him at 116 after eight. So everything from this point till the end of this game will be a will be a net gain for him. So I've watched Mike Bowl a lot this season and he's he struggled some with his grip. Uh, a lot of times he tends to lob more than he tends to drop. So I know he's conscious of that. So the score right now, uh, Amber, is um, Oh, she doesn't have audio on. We need to answer that. All right, hang on one second. I'll answer that. And um, I got that. You just right. keep. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll do that. All right. So I'll I'll let up. Uh, Chris, answer that. So Mike has a disappointing five box in box nine, and that puts him at one twenty one after nine. So he's picked up at least ten pins if he throws three gutter balls. But he's hoping to do a lot better than that. Box 10, game two. On a two pin, gets some great action. He's left with a one, two, seven. Wood in the back, this is probably immaterial. Picks up a spare in a 10. 131 plus a fill. Fabrizio Smith is now on fire. So he was down 36 pins after the first game. He's now picked up at least 20 with no fill. Look at that ball. Good ball. Seven and a fill, a 138 game. So he says to his opponent, you throw a 133 at me, watch this. And in total, after two, it's 244 for Jeff Little. And let me do my math here. Um, 235 
for Mike Grezio Smith. So it is now a nine pin match in favor of Jeff Little. And now Chris is going to cover play by play on the on lane ten, going into game three. Going into game three now. Uh, Jeff Little on lane 10, and we have a nine pin match right now. Both bowlers have shown some really good bowling here. Jeff Little up on lane 10. Takes the triangle far right, the six, the, the nine, and the 10. That's my alternative head pin, I call it. <laughs> little on, little on the, little on the head pin. He takes everything with the three. Fortunately, I've gotten pretty good at picking up that spare. So. Little with a ten box to start. Ten box for Jeff Little. So Jeff has done a spectacular job of pinning all the way through this match. I think he only left four pins in the second game. I don't know how many in the first. <laughs> And uh, Danny Finn is going down to get another ball. So Got to keep him busy, keep him running. Got to keep Danny loosened up for the uh, awarding of the trophies later. Had a boy, Ralph. <laughs> Little takes the half wish to right. Takes the three and the nine. Alright. It's makeable. Goes two full the other way. Got a bit of a break there because often if you hit the two pin after that, you end up punching out the other two. And playing it safe, he goes, takes out the six and ten for the guaranteed two pins. Puts him at nineteen after two. That's showing some good judgment here. I mean, a lot of times it'd be very tempting to try to pick up the 10, um, but then you could pick nothing. Right. Just off the head pin slightly, breaks up the tail. He's got the six, the seven, and the 10 with wood between them. All right, where are you gonna shoot that, Chris? You, you're gonna try to cap the wood on the right? I That's how I'd shoot it. I'd cap, I'd hit the, between the cap and the six, just like that. He got it. A nice shot by Jeff Little. It took a little, it took a little while, but it went. Wow. It went. Looked like he was going to get robbed again. All right. We're going to send Danny Finn back down again. Got a pin in the lane. Um, the camera's totally blocked. Um, yeah, you got you got a point there. Um, so when the bowler's on, yes, uh, somebody's saying that when the uh, bowler's on lane ten, I can't see the pin. Okay, so, I'll, I'll take care of that. I'll have Dan take over in commentary for now. All right, so Chris is going to do that. He's he's got a lot of equipment here, and uh, when we're setting up, sometimes it looks better than it does when we when we finish setting up. How how does that look? Get a little bit better view of the pins. All right, and he is on the three pin. He takes out just the three, five, and eight. Nice attempt on the spare. He's on the head pin, takes out everything but the six and the 10. And another 10 box. So, Look at the score here, and uh, he put three in the fill only, so he's at 42 after four boxes. Remember, it's a nine-pin match so far. Now, in the event of a tie, and it happens, if, if they tie in total after five, we'll have a one-string roll-off. They tie after that, we're going to keep going. All right, on that ball, he was on a three pin, on a two pin. He took out everything but the four horsemen right and the five pin. The five pin is left after the spare attempt, and it's still there. So halfway through Jeff's match, he put a 51 half up on lane 10, and now Mike Fabrizio Smith is coming up on lane 10. 
closer. You got a shaky camera there. Just take a minute to settle. There we go. Oh, that was you moving. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a delay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah, it looks better now. Yeah, you can. So, if somebody could comment and tell us how the, that looks now, we'd appreciate it. And uh, Mauricio Smith is on the three pin. He's left with a one, two, seven, six, ten. Sorry, they're not in order. And, and the eight's back there, too. So, open box in the six, in the first. Sorry. And a nine box to start the third string for Fabrizio Smith. So, keep it close. All right, come in at box two. All right, he's in the pocket on the right side. He takes everything but the seven. I don't know, Chris, what do you think about that wood? Wood looks like it might be a roadblock. He'd have to, uh, if I had to shoot it, I would probably cap it and hope for the best. Well, he was, he was out of the gutter, but... I hate that when you got one pin standing there, it looks makeable, but it blocks your Thanks for letting us know, Penny. I'm probably going to tweak it in between matches unless Micah shows up with his rig. So a nine box in box two for Mike Fabrizio Smith. That puts him at 18 after two. So he's down a pin, and he's up against a spare three. Okay. Fabrizio Smith takes out everything uh, off the head pin, leaves the one and the seven. He's got wood between them. Oh. I was hoping that wood would twin and turn around. But... I see what he's trying to do. I think he was trying to helicopter the wood into the head pin, drive everything else back. Another nine box. He's showing us our nine tables, 27 after three. So five pin deficit in, in completed boxes so far. Oh, too full on the head pin. He leaves the spread eagle plus a talon. The talon's the nine pin. You know, uh, Chris, I was fortunate enough to actually make the spare in November. But it'll never happen. I think in all the years I've pulled candle pin, I think I've converted that spare once. Yeah. I went for the left three in the hopes that it would carry, and by golly, it did. I was more surprised than anybody. <laughs> nine box, another nine. 36 after four. It's like teach, teaching us our nine tables in third Yes. For Regia, for Mike is off the head pin, takes out the uh, triangle far left. The four, seven, eight. He's in just off the head pin again to the left. He's got a working ball. He leaves the one and the 10. Got wood pinned against the one. It might be a roadblock and there's also wood adjacent to the 10. Oops, no. Open in the fourth or fifth. And unfortunately, the nine tables is broken up now with the eight box. So he's at 44 after five. So he's given some pins back to Jeff Little. It's 51 to 44 after five, halfway through the match now. Remember, this is all about total pinfall. Doesn't matter who wins the strength. Jeff Little on lane nine, first ball in the sixth box. And it gets away from him a little bit. He takes off just the 10 pin. He's got nine to shoot out. Got to throw a strike ball. Oh boy. Gets the three pin, takes up two more. Right now he just wants to take a munch. That's better. Eight box in the six is about as good as you can hope for after that. Oh, thank you so much. All right, coming into box seven. 
and he's off on the six pin that time. Six out of four, five, he's still falling. And we have a four horsemen left, plus the three pin with some wood in between. Is it gonna help? It helped, but it also deflected the ball around the four pin, which was not something he expected. Nice ten. after seven boxes. One under par by Bob Lee's par system. <laughs> Pin just didn't want to uh, slide across. Sorry, the nine pin just didn't want to go across, take out the seven. Cleans that up for a ten box. Je Jeff is, other than one or two boxes, has put on kind of a clinic about pinning today. He's leaving very few pins standing. One, two, three, four so far in, in eight boxes. Coming into box nine, he's a 79 after eight, wants to mark out. Well, he's off the head pin the last few boxes. Yes. Slow down a little bit, but he's got the one, two, five, and nine. Some wood that might be helpful. This is a makeable spare. Look at that. There you go. Nice shot by Jeff Little. Did I call that or what? Yes, you did. <laughs> spare in the ninth. And Jeff is at 89 plus this ball. Just five, flipped eagle. He's got the spread eagle minus a 10 pin. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh. Almost makes it. What a bid. Takes everything but the two pin. Closes with a nine box. And Jeff Little has 103 in his third game. If Fabrizio Smith puts a few couple of marks together in this half, he could close the gap further. Yeah, he's got a good chance here because he needs to catch up. He needs a 112. Now, Mike Fabrizio Smith is at 44 at the half. First ball, he's off to the right on a six pin, and he only takes out the six and a ten. Got to throw a strike ball here. Look at this. What a break. He overcompensated a little bit. He almost got that. Yes, he did. Took everything but the head pin. It's a sticky orange pin. I think there's glue on the ends of it. <laughs> there it goes. 10 box, 54 after six. All right, so he needs a couple a couple of marks here. Puts him in the lead. He's got four boxes to do that. In all my years of bowling, I think everybody hates that orange pin because it's too much of a distraction. It's a target to look at. I pull out a hill so we have some strike pins there. And, uh, there we go. That's a strike. That was interesting because his ball was breaking left to right a little. He came in the 1-3 pocket like you would, and it just took everything. The, the rack just exploded. It was, as you see, there's just a couple pins left on the plate. It's gonna, this match is going to be a lot closer. Right. Hey, the L's are working as fast as they can to fill those pins in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming into box eight. Fabrizio Smith is on a strike. First two balls of the fill. All right, his first ball's on a six, but he gets some action. He's got a great ball. And so he starts with four. He's got the four horsemen plus the three five. Oops, throw that one in the ocean. Just four in the fill. 68 after eight. After seven. And a nine box in box eight. 
77. So he's actually down two pins in his string. He has an opportunity to catch up here if he can mark once or twice. But and he's up against the mark in the 9-2, so he will have to mark here. Yep. We know he can do it. Again on a six pin. That's not a bad break. Nope, got a nice mix off the ball, which looked like it would be he take two. Three and nine. There it is. That nine was a little reluctant, but it came off someone came off the ball and took it out. So spare in the ninth. And that's matching little spare in the ninth, so he's at eighty seven plus his ball. Jeff Little only filled with a five. Mike wants to be off of that six pin he's been hitting over and over. Well, he's on the three, he puts six in the fill. He's got a makeable spare here with the four horsemen left. And he's at 93, he's still down one pin. Come on. Oh! Come on. There we go. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Oh, he, well, he hit the head pin. He's a little full on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. For some reason, that two pin didn't want to go. Right. But it did. So he gets his much-needed spare in the tenth. He's at 103. Everything here is bonus pins for him. Ah, five and a fill. 108. And I'll add up the score, the totals here. So it's 105. 108 for Fabrizio Smith, 103 for Jeff Little. I'll have the updated totals in a moment. Okay, so over three. The totals right now. Jeff Little leads the match, 347 to Mike Fabrizio Smith, 343. For a four-pin match right now. And uh, Chris is confirming my math. It's probably a good idea. And that's confirmed. So it's a four pin match right now. We have two games to go. This could go either way. Kyle, he did narrow the gap though. Jeff Little off the, leaves the two and the six. He's got wood against the two. It might be a roadblock. That's an odd leave. He's got a chance there of capping that. That might not be good. Wow, what a shot by Jeff Little. He caps the wood and takes him. Literally bounced the ball from the two in the air and hit the six. Could never do that again. <laughs> Spare in the first for a little. Two full in the head pin. Leaves the check mark right plus the four and the seven. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to face Jeff. I'm in a self conference. <laughs> Jeff trying to hit the, the object in, which is the three pin, misses to the right, only takes one. So he'll be open to box two. Tries to sweep it, sweep the, sweep the three and five over into the four seven. Doesn't go, he ends up with a seven box, he's 21 after two. Fair. All right, coming into box three, hoping to do a little better than his last box. Jeff off, misses. Three hits the three penny leaves the one, two, five, eight, and nine. No wood between it. Gotta come in in a pocket, I think, here. Oh. Oops. Missed the object penny. Missed the object penny, went by it, but he hit, check out the five and nine. Kyle, thanks for telling us about the network problems. Not a lot we can do here about that. Um, we are recording. So we'll, we'll definitely have recordings up, and uh, that'll be up on the Candlepin Bowling Network, as well as on Facebook. But it looks good to us. It's not like I'm, I'm monitoring this on my cell phone, independently of our, our feed, and uh, it looks pretty good. So that may be something local to you. 
Jeff off to the left. He leaves the one and the two. Leaves the head pin for a nine box. Gets him 38 after four. For in game four of a five game match. Total pinfall wins a match and it's a four pin game right now. Off the head pin again, but he hits the three pin, gets a decent break, leaves the one, two, and ten. He's got Wood off to the left of the two. Yeah. I don't know the Wood's going to help. Hits the two pin. Hits the Wood, it'll just scare the head pin, won't take it. Remember the winner of this match wins the championship for the year in the Atlantic Candle Pin Singles Tour, Division C. Jeff finishes with a 47 for his first half. Opportunity for Fabrizio Smith to come back and maybe take the lead. Had the orange pin in a, in a head pin position again. And it pays off, strike for Fabrizio Smith. You know, if he does that a bunch more times, he can get a 300. <laughs> Yes, he can. Nobody's ever done that before. And Mike's nope. on his way. <laughs> One down, 11 to go. <laughs> Highly unlikely. Nope. There goes his 300. <laughs> this is a little too full on the two pin. He's got the 1, 3, 7, and 8 with no wood. Through the seven and eight, so he's got a six on his strike, puts him at 16 for his first box. With, with ignoring uh, Little's uh, run in a first strike with all those fills, the fills have had a little bit light. Yes. Puts uh, seven in the second box, puts him at 23 after two, which is a two pin lead through boxes scored in this string. I both had a seven in the second box. Oops. Off to the right. That ball got away from him a little bit. He got a bit of a break, though, I think. Leaves a one, two, three, five, and eight. Ooh! Oh, everything but the five, huh? Played it light and got him back to a mix, but left the five pin. And that'll be a 10 box. Puts him at 33. And that puts him up four pins. That ties the match in completed boxes. Match is a dead heat now. Right in the pocket for a strike. You like seeing those? And that's a good time for him to do that. Off to the right. Got a decent mix. He takes, leaves the one, the two, and the nine. Oh! Wow. Hit the pocket like he should have, and he left the nine pin. That one pin came off the wall as planned, but it just dropped a little bit longer. Cleans up for a ten box. Fabrizio Smith now has the lead in the match. 62 to 47 at the half. So, what's that? That's a 15 pin lead in this game, and that gives him an 11 pin lead in the match. Yes. I'm a little slow. That's okay. I was doing the math in my head, too. All right, Jeff Little comes up for the second half of game four. He's lost his lead position for the moment. 
Um, Dan will be calling action on lane nine. All right, Jeff's off on the sixth pin again. Up to four horsemen left, plus the line of three behind it. And that time he goes wide of the head pin and just picks up a five and then the uh, nine, I believe. All right, eight box. Went to 55 after six. Five pins under par by Bob Lee's Parsons. Box seven. On the head pin. And I hate it when that happens. Spread eagle, and I guess that only goes about two or three percent of the time. Where's the book of stats when you need it? Where's Bob Lee? He's got it in my mind. Right? Yes. <laughs> All right, just picks off one and uh, trying to clean it up. Gets an eight box. So can't complain about that. And 63 after seven. He needs to pick up some marks here. In a box of eight. And you notice his pinning has gone down now. He hasn't had a 10 box. The only 10 he had is a spare in the first. And a half Worcester left. So he wants to get a pick. Looks like he tried to play the inside, which often works. This time it left him with a 6, 7, 10. And a nine box, 72 after eight. Looks like he tried to drive everything uh, from the right to 610 in the wood over to the left to try to take the seven. You at least want to get those two, though. So Correct. Take it out. All right, coming in the ninth box, you want some marks here. Again, he's off the head pin, onto the two, and he's left with the 179. Now, what do you think, Chris? That wood's interesting because... I think that might help pick up the nine. I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably play the, play the left side of the... Right there? Just like yeah, that. Yeah. That worked. Yeah. That was a great spare. Yes, One, it was. Seven, nine for a spare in the ninth. And Patrick Kellogg, you should have been watching from the beginning, but just so you know, we're in the fourth game. And after three, it's 347 to 343 in favor of Jeff Little. But Fabrizio Smith has picked up some pins in the half of the fourth, first half of the fourth game. Right. Eight in the fill. And a makeable spare here with the two and a seven. Little's at 90 after nine. And there it is. He wanted a mark, he needed a mark, he got him. Now he needs a big fill here to keep up. So at the halfway point, uh, Mike Fabricio Smith had picked up an 11 pin lead on the match, so we'll see what happens in this half. On a fill in the tent. Oh, we saw this before. Yes. He's off on the three, and he picks up just three in his fill. That gives him another 103. Just ties his last game. So, so far. Jeff Little has had 133, 111, 103, and 103. Fabrizio Smith, 97, 138, and 108, and he's at 62 halfway through the fourth game. And he's coming into box six of his fourth game here. And he gets a head pin curse and a spread eagle minus the 10. Think that would'll help? Uh, might not come into play, I don't think. No. No, not when you hit the seven pins. Now he's left with a two, four, three, six. I'd say take two, and if you get a third one here, now get blessed. Third one is a would be a bonus. Oh, uh, he tried. All right, so an eight box for Mike Fabrizio Smith. That puts him at 70 after six. Gonna make Danny Finn run down and pick up the pin. <laughs> All 
Massachusetts and a bunch of Maine. I don't know how many up there. Look at this. The playoffs are still wrapping up in Maine. And Rizio Smith went off to the right. He's left with a one and a three, so he's open in the eighth. Or seventh. And that's a ten. The ED after seven. And that's ten over par. All right. So he's got a 17 pin advantage in his string so far. Another six pin hit. Oh, it's just off the head pin. And he's up to the one, three, seven to make a 10. He'll be open in the eight. And a seven box, 87 after box eight. Now he's up against a spare eight and a spare three. Seven. So it's 87 to 72 of having in completed boxes. Rizio Smith on the head pin, in a right hand pocket, and he's got a check mark left. Two, four, seven, and five. Let's make full spare. Off to the right leaves the two, the four, and the seven. Missed the object pin with that second ball. All right, try to clean them up. And, and the gutter. Seven seems boxes. two seven boxes in a row. That that hurts. Seems like he's stuck a little bit at the foul line there. Uh, he will need a mark here to keep it close. Yeah, he's up four pins in completed boxes, but he's up against a 13 box. Wow. What a break. He put that in the pocket. Looked like he was going to punch the one two out, and the pins just kept falling. Going for the wood, and that works. Good call. Spare in the 10th. And that puts him at 104 plus the still. He needs three to tie the match. Four to go ahead. And how about six? So that gives Mike Fabrizio Smith a 110. And it's a three pin match right now in favor of Mike Fabrizio Smith. He's at 453 after four games. And Jeff Little is at 450. So 453 to 450. I'll check that. I'm doing good on that today. Well, that math and engineering school paid off, huh? <laughs> Okay, I can't do half of it anymore. So. All right, so it's a three pin match and we're coming into the final decisive game of the ACST Division C Championship round. And Jeff Little is down three pins. It's anybody's game right now. Winner Little is the champion. Little in the pocket, left the the three, the five, and the nine. Hits the three and five. Everything goes around the nine. Plays the nine solid for a ten box. Give me a nail biter here. I've seen so many matches this year come down to the very last ball. We had one um, in the playoffs. Uh, Mike Legender versus uh, Dave Edison. They literally came back to the, down to the fill in the ten box. And Legender came up and pulled it off by four pins. Oh, 
Little in the pocket, takes everything out but the floor pin. He had four with the first ball, five with the second. He's got the four with the piece of wood against it and cleans it up for a 10 box. With a three pin match, pinning is going to be very important now. Well, for most of this match, Jeff Little has put on a, a clinic for pinning. And it looks like he could be back for that. This last game was a little bit off on that, but overall, he's, he doesn't leave very many pins on a deck. No. Jeff a little too full on the head pin. He leaves the three, the four, the six, and the ten. He's got wood. Oh, gives it a ride. Nice bid. Takes everything out but the ten pin. Usually it's a single pin. It's a hard one to get. Cleans that up for a ten box. He's at 30. Perfect so far. Marks, yeah, but he's all tens. Little just off the head pin. All right, that's a Kaliri plus an eight, right? Yes, it is. No wood to help. Looks like he made a valiant effort on that one. Played it probably the way I would have, and he ends up with the the four, seven, and eight with wood. Cleans that up for a ten box. He's still perfect through four. 40 after four. Looking for that first mark. He's leaving the door open for Fabrizio Smith, but he's got a pin like crazy too. Just a hair off the head pin. He takes every, leaves the four horsemen left, the one, the two, the four, the seven. Also known as the Kamrowski special, and I don't see Rick Kamrowski in the crowd, but. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, plated it, played it in the one-two pocket like it should be, and the four pin stays up. We've seen that third pin stay up several times. And he's perfect through five. He's got a 50. That's very respectful. All tens. Especially in a precious situation like this when you've got single pins and it's a championship. Probably going to be, probably pins probably look like toothpicks up there. That right now he's put Mike in a position where even an eight box hurts. Right. Fabrizio Smith off the head pin, but he takes out eight. He's got the one and the three. Off the head pin, lead, misses to the left. Now he's off to the right, hits the wood, but it doesn't help. He's got an eight box. Yeah, so your opponent didn't get any marks at all in his half, and now he needs a mark to get ahead of him. Right. That's that's the power of pinning. You can't leave, he's got to have an, uh, a mark here to stay ahead. Off to the left, sweeps everything to the right. He's got the one, eight, and 10. He's got a piece of wood that is just behind the head pin. It might help. Got to hit the head pin. Hits the head pin. Oh! Scares the 10 pin, but it doesn't go over. Sounds like he broke a pin. We, we don't have radar on the bowlers here, but I've seen Mike throw high 30s. So he pinned out well that time. <laughs> One of the, the uh, replacement will come out of your prize money. <laughs> One of the audience says, let's take that pin back to the house. Yeah. Hits a 1-2 pocket light. He leaves the check mark right plus the 9 pin. All right, that's makeable. Nope. Misses the object pin. Leaves the 3 and the 6. Right, this is a time when there's pressure on the bowler. He's only ahead three pins, but he's lost two of those in this half so far. He needs every pin right here. Wait a minute. And he's going to wobble. Um, it's, on, it's on Facebook on the uh, Atlantic Hennepin Single Sport. <laughs> 
right, so a nine box in the third, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Puts him at 27 after three. He's lost his lead now. He's tied. The match is tied after the third box there. On the head pitting, leaves the eight and ten. He's got two pieces of wood. Probably going to play the wood to the left. Oh! What a bid. All right, so in completed boxes right now, we have a tie game match. And with that ball, Jeff Little takes a one pin lead. Again, it all comes down to pinning. It's Those tens are going to be um, huge with every eight and nine box. You know, a lot of people I've heard haven't been terribly interested in watching the IC division. There's some great bowling, great matches in this division. Yes, I mean, there these, are. These guys are they're not in the A division where you're going to see 160s all the time. But I mean, it doesn't get much better than this match. Misses the four horsemen to the left. Remember, pinning is going to be important at this point. Jeff Smith has taken the lead back in the match. Cleans it up for 10. Jeff Smith is up by one pin going into the final five. All right, so coming into lane nine for the finale of this championship match. And after the match, we'll speak with the bowlers and have the awarding of the trophy to the winner. Jeff Little coming up on lane nine. He's at 50. Perfect through five. No spares, but all tens. And on that, he's on the two pin. He had the four horsemen. Right now, he's got three. Two, four, set, seven. Looking for his first spare. And not that time. He was on the object pin, but the, but the spare didn't go. So he's got the four and the seven left. And he's perfect no more. He's got a nine box in here. 59 after six. So five boxes to go. And Jeff Little has a one pin lead in, in, throughout the match. It's a one pin match, folks. Little's on a three pin. Four horsemen plus the eight and a nine. Oh, wow. I can't believe some of these hits are just look perfect. Another nine box. 68 after seven. Again, not worrying about um, trying to pick up the 10. He's just picking up pins at this point. With the match just close, every pin matters. He really wants to get a mark or two in these last boxes because Fabrizio Smith can, can do it. You have a one pin match. Are you kidding me? He throws that in the pocket and he is left with the four. Oh, there it goes. Oh. All right, there's a break. Now, Little probably four pin took a late fall. Jeff Little stared the four pin down. <laughs> he gets his fair. First fair of the match for Little. You got a. Incredible break with that four pin going late. And that gives him 78 plus a ball in the eighth box. And half, halfway point, he was only up by one pin for the entire match. So that spare is huge. Big fill. All right, seven in the fill, that gives him 85 after eight. He's now over par. And by par, I'm talking about 10 per box. Oh! Another one. These guys are hitting some object pins pretty solid, and it's just not showing. It's almost like the bowling gods want to keep this close to keep it a good match, or a great match. Nine box, 94 at nine. On the three pin, but he didn't get a half Worcester. More late action. Tough spare lead. One, seven, six, nine, ten. 
Got to hit the head pin, see what happens. Probably. Oh. Got to pick pins up at this point. All right. All right, seven box. 101. And he finishes with a 551. All right, so to do this, what's Fabrizio Smith need? He needs to finish with a 102 to tie, a 103 to win, right? Yes. All right, so he's going to need one spare. If he picks up two, he'll probably win the match. If he doesn't spare, he can't win the match. He needs 57 in his half. Yeah! Well, that looked like a strike ball to me. It did. Um, again, not sure what's going on. The 7 and 8, and there's a piece of wood up there. It might be helpful. It's a little forward that might come off the wall and not take out the 7. Let's see. No. Oh. All right. He'll be opening it 6. Let's see if he can pick up a 10 here. That would gain a pan and complete it. All right. Ten bucks. And again, in completed boxes, we're tied. But he still needs to pick up a 102 for a tie, a 103 for a win. At 56 after six. Okay, this time he went for the seven pin again. I don't think he did that intentionally. He's left with a full rack minus a seven. the three pin. Takes out five more. He's got the lambda leave as Bob Lee likes to call it. And Bob Lee is watching. Hi Bob. Eight box. 64 after seven. Where are we in the count? Little's up by one again. Two boxes scored. Last thing you want to see happen. He's on the head pin, pretty solid. He's left with a four, five, six, seven, ten. He's got some wood on the right. You think that'll help, Chris? If he caps it, he might drive it. Okay. And now he's left with the castle left. Four, five, seven. See so if he can get two and go to the next box. He went for it. He picked up just one. An eight box. All right, it's going to be crunch time now. He needs a mark at this point. Yep, definitely has to have at least one mark in these next two boxes. Yeah! Wow. All right. All right, took everything but the four pin. Single pin to shoot at, no wood. Nice pure shot. Threw that ball with authority. Just a hair off. Got it. All right. That's clutch. Clutch spare in the ninth. All right, that gives him 82 plus a ball. Needs a big fill and a nice box in the tent to get to that 102 to tie, 103 to win. Six. Six in the fill. And he's at 88. I think he's got a spare again. He's, he's going to pick this up. Your final is right. Jeff. Jeff Little has won the championship by one pin. 551 to 550. That pin would have made it five. Amazing yeah. match here, gang. One pin match, 551 to 550 in favor of Jeff Little. 
Let's go talk to the bowlers. You should be live now.